Welcome to another video on JavaScript CRUD tutorial. In the last video, we have uh, populated all the data from mock API and put it into the table. So now, in this video, it's going to be very short because we are going to populate images alone in the table content. This is the method which actually populate the grid data that we actually get from the content. I mean the mock API. This is where we are preparing the table content. That's nothing but the table row. In this area, you can see there is one uh, table uh, TD tag where I'm populating the avatar, which is nothing but just the URL. So in the last video itself, we have verified that the URL is valid, which actually loads the data. Now what I can do is I can populate this data. So like uh, uh, using image tag. So let me open image IMG SRC. OK, this uh, avatar in this url only you have to paste the content after that i'll be using alt and then i'll be just saying that the avatar image i am ag let's see how it actually get populated in the output screen now you can see the images are getting populated as of now the image is not uh, that look okay so it's just populating all the images are getting populated so I'll be just making it a little more pretty by adding some CSS classes. So let me have the class. First and foremost, I'll be just adding a rounded so that I'll be having the rounded corner for the image. And then I'll be adding some shadow so that you can see there is a change here. You can see the shadows are available. But if you need even more, then go to the documentation, search for shadow you will be getting a lot of example so i think i have added this is shadow so which is nothing but the regular shadow that doesn't show up well so let me try to uh, use this uh, shadow lg go back shadow iphone large elg represents large request sent and here you can see each and every image has some shadow behind it so this is how we need to populate it. And of course, we can reduce the image size by writing some CSS. So let me write some CSS. Style width 2. Uh, let me have a 2 REM. And based on that, we'll be just modifying it. You can see, right? 2 REM, the content is actually getting populated properly. So this is how we can populate the response content in the tabular column and we have done the agenda of that video as well in the next upcoming videos we will be adding little more functionality user wise look and feel wise to the application like adding new data editing updating deleting those kind of the functionality that's all thank you